Hi there, I'm Les Supernet with Bond Cook, Bond Entrepreneur with Bond Cook, and I'm cooking in the kitchen today, cooking with Goldie, Goldie Urquhart, and we are gonna show you scalloped potatoes. So, this is Goldie's recipe, but I am here to uh, help slice the potatoes. So I brought the mandolin today, and I wanted to show you, this is what it looks like, and uh, our controls are here on the side. It's got this great thing to lock so you can't cut yourself. I know some people are worried about cutting themselves with a mandolin. So here's the lock position. We're gonna go down to level three to get a nice, somewhat thick cut for uh, the scalloped potatoes. So these are gonna be great. So this piece just opens and closes there so that can help you if you need to get that. I'm gonna use this part with the little feet there, teeth, whatever you want to call them, and I'm going to put the potato in there. And I want you also to notice, Goldie, what did you do with the potatoes this morning? They're already peeled and ready to go for me. What's your tip on that? Well, I peeled them and I put them in cold water and made sure they were in a bowl where they were completely covered with cold water, but they've been sitting all day on my washing machine. So they're not brown, so how great is that? If you want to save some time, um, if you have time in the morning to peel, um, you can do that ahead of time and then you've got your potatoes ready to go when you um, want to work with them. Please slide it. And there's a bunch of potatoes. I don't know if you can see all of those. Here, let me show you. So that was pretty quick and easy. So that is one of our potatoes. We'll Gold just throw these in a bowl. Okay. Goldie, how many potatoes does it take? to make scalloped potatoes. Are you looking for pounds or the size of potatoes? The size of the potatoes. These okay. were four very large potatoes. Okay. And look, that took it all the way down to the bottom. That's great. All right. And Goldie is layering the potato slices in the large round mold. Both of us love the large round mold. <laughs> One of our favorite pieces. Well, as we were showing you earlier, they won't stick. Yeah. They won't stick to it. So that's pretty quick and easy. That one is right there on the blade. I don't want to stick my fingers any further down, but look at that stack Wait, of my potatoes. My husband won't let me use sharp objects. Personally, I think he's afraid I'll take after him. <laughs> All right, we got one more potato to go. And Leslie's going to show you later how to make sweet potato fries using the mandolin. And there we go. Boy, that was so quick. That was so quick. Look at all those are great and uniformly sliced. You can also make um, waffle fries with this, so I'll have to show that to you later also. Anyway, Goldie Urquhart here with Cooking with Goldie. And I've always loved to cook. I was born and raised in West Virginia. My mom was a very good cook. And um, my mom was always trying new recipes, but she'd make, come up with some pretty weird ones. But I got my love of cooking from her. And uh, so I've been cooking since I was able to reach the stove. I had some big failures over the years and things that I was making, but um, also had some big successes. And so I had friends that kept saying, you need to write a cookbook, you need to write a cookbook. So I did, and we did one as, uh, did a series of mini, M-I-N-I, -I, books as e-books. And um, you can check them out at cookingwithgoldie.com. Anyway, but today we're gonna do scalloped potatoes because that's something that a lot of people are afraid to make and they are so easy and so yummy. So I've done one layer of potatoes. Here, can you see that? Mm -hmm. uh, already in here on the bottom and using the round mold, the Bond Cook round mold, um, I've made uh, potatoes 
more often because my family loves them, but I don't have to deal with the mess that normally comes with making scalloped potatoes. So I'm going to take a little bit of flour and just sprinkle some over this first layer here. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of milk. I'm not going to use all of this milk, but I didn't want to use the whole gallon container. I'm just using a little bit of milk. Here, can you see how much I'm doing? Putting in, it's not a ton. And I am going to tell you, if you use lactose free, me, uh, free milk, for some reason they turn out creamier. Now I'm going to put on six dots of butter right here. I already, while it was cold, I chopped it up here. And then just some salt and pepper. I tend to be pretty liberal on the salt with potatoes. Now I'm going to do another layer of potatoes. That mandolin really made these come out nice and nice and even slices. I like to use Yukon Gold potatoes. I find that the flavor is just the best with them. I'm going to put a little bit of flour here. Or just layer them, just like you would do a lasagna. There. Then some milk. And next I'm going to do the salt and pepper. And the butter. Do about some these little pieces here. You can see they're not big. If you get too much butter in it, it tastes funky. Now, like I said, if you're lactose intolerant, you can use uh, the lactose-free milk and Earth Balance spread. It's lactose-free. There. Yep, I already did the milk, so gonna go back in another layer of potatoes. This scallop potatoes is really great for like when you've got company coming and you don't want to be in the kitchen cooking a lot. Um, I always like to do this and do a meat like meatloaf, which we're gonna do next um, with a different twist with it, meatloaf or a roast, because I like making it easy. Then all I have to do is steam some vegetables or do a salad with it, and uh, I'm all set. I'm not running around trying to get everything done at the same time. A little bit more flour. Well, I think we got plenty of potatoes. That's there. Boy. Now I'm going to use a little milk over this. You can see how big of a pan that I'm making here. And then salt and pepper. But there, uh, yeah, salt and pepper. Then the butter. And then we're going to do one top layer of just potatoes and salt and pepper and the butter and I'll probably pour the rest of that milk over it too. There then. And then. Those were giant potatoes like I found at the at the grocery store, Fred Meyer's. And so I just didn't know how many to do, but I wanted to know that I had plenty because I wasn't going to run back to the store to get more. Especially when I'm in the middle of showing you how to do something. Yeah. 
So I'm just going to set these aside. And I'm going to do the milk over the top. And I'm going to do the butter and our salt and pepper. And it's ready to go to the oven. Now, I'm baking this at 350. And I'm not putting the cover on the top because I want them to brown just a little bit, just a little bit before I take my octagonal bone bond mat and put it on the top because I'll bake this for about an hour and then the last half hour and really watch your time because it can brown too much and everybody's oven cooks differently. So I'm just going to put this in the oven. And in an hour, I can take it out and put the, the top on. Anyway, for all kinds of recipes from Cooking with Goldie, check out my website, cookingwithgoldie.com, uh, to check out what the mini books are. And also, it tells you what recipes are in each mini book. And just follow me on Facebook, Cooking with Goldie. Bye for now.